hi everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to always sit in front of the camera to talk to you because always i see my camera as you guys and like the excitement is on a different level hey guys it's not been easy new mom marriage work and all that but i still always want to try to keep up with you guys so today i am going to talk about sex before and after marriage yes you know what i mean so um a lot of us are excited or become excited when we are about to marry or when we marry because we are like now we are married so i mean god approves for us to have sex god approves for us to be naughty god approves for us to go hard and all that but it's it's something else when you marry and let me just make it simple by comparing it in one or two ways so um guys before i'm i'm not encouraging premarital sex whoever decides to have sex before or after marriage is their own decision so sex before marriage is so 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 sweet and fun yes i say that because sex before marriage mostly you guys wouldn't be staying together with each other so you will be far apart and there will be some kind of missing so when you guys come together and you want to be intimate the guy gives his all like there is kisses there is um sucking there is foreplay like there is there is that closeness before finally the penetration sets in but it's not always the case after you marry why because as you if you are married you guys are together like, you see each other every day and when your wife goes to the washroom and comes back you mostly see her naked you mostly see your husband naked so it's like you are seeing yourself like almost every day naked going up and down and all that so that feeling of missing and yearning for something reduces because the person is always with you so when you guys are wants to be intimate there is not so much of foreplay kissing touching holding because if you miss something you would touch it if you miss something you would kiss it and adore it before you finally eat it but if it's with you already like you can slap it any day you can touch it every day and all that that vibe wouldn't be there so you end up just jumping into penetration from the beginning and sometimes it spoils the fun yes so that's one aspect and the second aspect is before you marry when you have you are coming to have sex like the um, excitement is there because the energy is there you guys are apart mostly you see yourselves during the weekend the weekend there is no work so it's like the energy is fully packed up the guy's energy is fully packed up so when you meet like it's fire but it's always the case when you marry because when you marry the responsibilities it, it just jumps up because here comes the man now you are married you are his full responsibility like he needs to take care of you without any excuse from morning to evening your everything is on him and when children comes inside the child's everything is on him like it's by force he needs to so he has a load on his mind trying to provide for someone's daughter <laughs> for his own baby or children if um, there are children inside so psychologically like he's always thinking about this kind of thing like he's always thinking about how to make money like how to make you feel better in order so he takes his attention off sex for some time so let's say he's in the mood and he wants to just like release it off like the the only thing that comes into their mind is penetration so they'll just do some shakara movements then boom they enter and that's it and with the women's side like before you marry you'll be on your own i mean you can have fun you can you can just adore yourself and all that like i mean there's not so much of a responsibility but you marry you become a wife and you are responsible to take care of your home responsible to take care of your husband's stomach you are responsible to take care of the children you are responsible i mean everything cooking washing cleaning everything is on you you have no excuse you have to do it because you're the wife of course and after you've done all these things your career is, is not part two so if you should involve your if you should include your career like at the end of the day you're tired 
I mean, you are tired as a woman, so even if your husband is all jacked up in the mood and wants to, I mean, set the ball rolling, like you will physically be tired and you didn't put in that much effort that you are supposed to do and it falls the front. So, I mean, I can go on and on and on about how the excitement and the fun and the enjoyment after marriage in sex reduces so the aim of this video is, is to just bring you to your senses that sex should be enjoyable after marriage too so if it is you seeing yourself most often naked and all that that makes you not so much desire your partner try to limit it yeah you can do it if it is doing being all busy or hard work that takes your mind off like one of the most amazing reasons to marry i mean is to satisfy yourself anytime any day anyway so if maybe the responsibilities on you the man on the woman is what is preventing you guys from enjoying this special moment try and fix it okay this video i think i've made myself clear so make sure that you put all these things in place so that your sex life before and after marriage will be as enjoyable as it was thank you guys very much for watching this video to the end please subscribe to my video if you like this content give me a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video bye